Well, eye tracking is a, is a new field and eye tracking will change uh, the future. Today it's hardly visible because there are only some thousands of eye trackers out there globally. But imagine in 10 or 20 years, there might be an eye tracker in, in, in every car, in every laptop, and uh, sooner or later eye tracking will enter your home. At the beginning, we knew we want to, to, to build a 300 hertz eye tracker. 300 hertz because it, it allows so many more things to see in the, in, in, in the result. This opens up complete new fields, like when you, when you want to measure how fast was a certain saccade moving from point A to B. Uh, when did the blink start? When did the blink stop? Or even for, for head movement, where exactly were, were, were the pupils located at each point in time? Well, the, there's, there's um, basically in eye tracking, there's three parts. There's the physical part, how good are the cameras, how good is the image, how good are the illuminators? How good a picture do you start with? Then it's the math. Uh, taking the image, finding what you want, finding uh, the pupil, finding the glint, finding the angles, and calculating a raw data. And then the third side of it is what do you do with the raw data? How do you filter it? How do you presume where someone actually is looking? What is the gaze? Finding where are, where are the eyes in the box and so on. Well, in this project we started making more extensive tests. So we made the different illumination sets. And we did tests in uh, different positions in the head box to verify that we have stable and accurate uh, tracking all over the box and with all uh, environment settings and also with different gaze angles. And it tracks pretty much anyone from infants to uh, people with lenses and glasses. And There always have been uh, uh, fast eye trackers, but they squeeze the respondents into chin rests. Very narrow, so, so the respondents has to, has to be in, in this small box, cannot move. Uh, and then of course you can question, is my test valid? Is it, is it really true that this respondent who was tested would behave like this? Or did the respondent only behave like this because it was squeezed in this small chin rest and it was not allowed to move? Now the TX300, allows the respondents to move freely around. We've worked quite hard of making sure that uh, the user shouldn't be affected by the new technology. All it should see, all the users should see is just a better product, works better, works, works faster, more accurate, and it's easier to use than anything else available. That's been our aspect. We don't show off the technology. The results, the measurement results, the eye tracking results should, should speak for themselves. But that's the way technology is. It's, I'm quite proud, I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it, but this is basically as good as you can get.